Hello dear students, welcome to Devika's Commerce and Management Academy. In the last class, we have seen Carl Pearson's coefficient of correlation in actual mean method. Actual mean method formula was also easy. What was the formula? Very easy. Sigma x y by root of sigma x square into sigma y square. Now today we will see actual mean method or uh, assume mean method. Actual mean is over. Assume mean. We are assuming some numbers and taking the deviations. Same like standard deviation. Same like standard deviation will be calculating as per the given data. Here standard deviation one variation was given. Now here two variations will be given x, y. From that we have to take the deviations means dx then dx square. Okay, that is all in the same way y is given y, dy dy square we have to calculate. Then after that ultimately dx into dy. So, columns are same like standard deviation formula big formula you have to remember logically <coughs> if you see formula is also easy. Now, let me remind you already I told you the formula this is the formula in assume mean. If you want to go for assume mean, but anyway, please remember in exam, nobody will ask you to follow either actual mean or assume mean. What is the formula? R is equal to R means Carl Pearson's coefficient of correlation. R is equal to sigma dx dy minus sigma dx into dy. Separately, we are doing sigma dx separately and sigma dy separately. This is sigma dx into dy together. Sigma dx into sigma dy by n everything is divided by root of sigma dx square minus sigma dx whole square only dx only whole square by n n is not under the whole square okay n is out of this whole square whole square here is sigma dx square by n in the same way the same fashion dy also root of sigma dy square sigma dx square turns into sigma dy square minus sigma dy whole square by n okay so this formula you have to remember now one problem i have already done calculations it will take lots of time i already taught you standard deviation same passion calculations dx we have to calculate dx square dy dy square dx into dy okay so the problem is given to us this is the data given us x and y only these two data given to us x y these two data are given what we have to calculate first columns dx dx square dy dy square then dx into dy dx into dy another column uh, this is assume mean any number you can assume it first let us focus on the dx dx here how do you get dx x minus a assume mean for example, I have assumed here 65, assume mean is 65, you can take any number 65 when I have assumed taking the deviations from the x, 45 minus 65, minus 20, 55 minus 65, minus 10, 56 minus 65, minus 9, like this dx we got it, once if you get the dx square it, dx square. So, dx square is minus 20 into minus 20, 400, minus 10 into minus 10, 100 plus, okay, like dx square we have done. dy is already given. What we have to do first? dy, small dy, dy, y is given, dy we have to calculate. How do you get dy? y minus a assumed, assumed mean. y is here, this one. Assume mean, I have assumed 66. Any number you can assume, you can assume 56, 50, 48, which is not in this y list also you can assume. I have assumed here 66. So, 56 minus 66 minus 10, 50 minus 66 minus 16, 48 minus 16 minus 18, like I got dy, small dy. Then square it, dy square, okay, minus 10 into minus 10, 100 minus 16 into minus 16 to 56 like I got the dy square. Next what do we need? dx into dy, dx into dy, minus 20 into minus 10, 200 plus 200, minus 10 into minus 16, 
plus 160 because minus into minus comes to plus, right? Like dx into dy multiplied and written in this column, dx into dy. Why we have taken dx, dx is where dy, dy is where dx into dy. If you see the formula, we need all these things. We have dx, dy. dx into dy is also there. dx is where is there. dy is where is there. So, we have created all the columns. Once if this is ready, what are the columns to be totaled? One thing is that dx we have to total, dx is square, dy, dy is square, then dx into dy. So, 5 columns I have totaled it. dx total is 2, dx square is 1414, dy is minus 5 because minus are there, plus is there. So, minus is dominating and here plus 2. Then dy square total is 1649 dx into dy total is 1401, okay. So, everything we got it, just apply it in the formula. Formula is you know, first dx into dy, dx into dy is 1401, 1401 minus dx, sigma dx, sigma dx is 2, 2 into sigma dy, dy is minus y into minus y, 2 into minus y divided by sigma dx square, dx square is 1414, 1414 minus sigma dx, sigma dx is 2, 2 whole square by n, n is number of observations, here 11 are there, okay, so by 11, in the same way sigma dy square, dy square is here 1649, minus sigma dy, sigma dy is minus 5, only minus 5 whole square, 11 not, not 11, by 11, and this calculations, if you do it, Ultimately, we are getting answer of 0 0.919. Isn't it easy? Only formula, you have to be careful. If you can remember the formula, calculations are rough work, anyone can do. That's it. This is Carl Pearson's coefficient of correlation in assume mean method. Which one is feeling easy? Let me know in the comment box. Assume mean or actual mean. Whatever you feel, you stick to one method. If you want, you can check out uh, previous model papers of your university. Did they ask any time cal calculate Carl Pearson's coefficient of correlation in actual mean or in assumed mean? Did they ask any time like this? Then you need to be careful. Generally, I have never seen this. So, I would suggest you to go for either. Uh, actual mean or assume mean. But when I was student, I used to follow actual mean method. Who will remember such a big formula? A formula small mistake, gone means problem, entire problem is gone. So, in my student life, I used to follow actual mean method formula is very easy, sigma dx, uh, sigma xy by root of sigma x square into sigma y square, that is all. Simple formula calculations also, uh, x bar, y bar calculation is not so tough, easily we can calculate it as I have shown you in the last class. Hope with this, Carl Pearson's coefficient of correlation is completed. Next class, uh, I want to focus on rank correlation. Rank correlation is quite interesting and easy also. There is nothing tough. Stay connected, check out the playlist and what is useful for you, use it and do not forget to share these videos. Practice well and before exams, revise it. Okay? Good luck.